Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. All right, today is a special day. I really stopped working on this car because I was just getting ridiculously discouraged couldn't find the misfire and all that stuff so it's driving me nuts as you saw in the last video on the four seater beater it is finally running right it still feels slow but now it's got stupid tune on it and it's running right so i wanted to jump into something that i didn't get to finish because again i stopped working on this thing you guys saw us install the drift hq hydraulic handbrake now it's time to plumb it and actually get it functioning and then we're going to ditch these big wheels too and probably put the uh, stock ones back on the front and try to make this thing as light as possible so that we can actually drift it because right now it is a terrible car to drift just because it doesn't have the power to spin anything in second and i don't get it maybe these tires are too sticky i've aired them up like ridiculously high it does like cool little skids but it's not actually drifting those these wheels are way too big for the power Power's too low for these 18s. I don't really like the way it drives at all. I'm gonna start diving back into this car and getting into it. And today I'm gonna show you how to plumb your inline hydraulic handbrake setup. So that is the Drift HQ handbrake. I highly recommend them. They are super great and they're actually pretty cost effective. They're not too much money. So head over to drifthq.com, type in hydraulic handbrake. You'll see this one. It's dope because you can flip it to pull up or pull back. We've done the video on it. You've seen it. That's installed and now it's time to finally tap in. And so I've seen a bunch of different ways people do this. Um, I had an idea on how to do mine, which I was gonna cut the factory lines, tee them together and blah, 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 blah. It's actually really simple on these cars. You just tie them between the master cylinder and the ABS unit. And now that I've seen it for myself, I'm like, oh, duh. Like that's ridiculously easy. Before you get involved in all this, obviously my big thing is like mounting the pieces that I want to work with. So obviously the master and the ABS unit is already mounted, but then the handbrake needed to be mounted. So now that's mounted. Now I know how long I need my lines to be and I know what kind of angles I need to get. The first question you're probably gonna ask is where the hell do I tie in my hydraulic handbrake lines for the rear setup? I went online, did some Google 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 then. This port here on your master, which is labeled with an H, is going to be your rear. The rear line comes off the master and into the ABS unit onto this, this one here, which is the H entrance on the ABS unit. You follow the line from the master. So the H line goes down there, it U-turns, comes back up, and it's this one and then this goes into the ABS block right there. So what we're gonna be doing is removing this line here. This line will then run into the handbrake from here through the trans tunnel up through a hole I drilled into the handbrake and then from the handbrake back up into the ABS block in this spot. So this line will be deleted. So that line will be removed and what we're essentially doing is making that line a lot longer and putting a handbrake in between those two ports. Fairly simple. So I need to remove this line from the car. I'll take it out so I have my fitting ends. And then on the handbrake side of it, I'm gonna be running a straight. I'll run a straight out of here and then a 45-3 boy for my line. And then on this bottom one, I'll be running a straight to my dash three line. So these will be dash three ends, just AN dash three setups. Be pretty simple. I think the lines are gonna be like somewhere around 70 inches or something. I think it's M10 bubble, but I'm not sure. We'll take it off and take a look at it and then we'll head over to our store and get our stuff going. This is the rear brake line here that goes from the master down to the ABS block. So again, we're just installing a handbrake in between these two ports. So I head to the shop G and J. Uh, my local aircraft supply spot and get some lines made. What I ended up doing was grabbing a 10 mil bubble flare, I believe is what that is. And also for the master, we're gonna do a banjo setup. So I'll have to convert the BMW master. We'll take the banjo and then the ABS block will take this guy. So this will screw in. So now we have that converted to a dash three. You can see it down there that shiny boy right there. So now that's a dash three and then this side we will convert to the banjo. I need to run my lines. So let's undo all this wound up junk. 45 is on the handbrake side, a banjo on the master and a 90 on the ABS block. Let's go fish these through. 
So I drilled a couple holes. Let's see if these will go through. Banjo. Banjo. And the 90. Throw those through there. Then the 45s will come through here. This 45 will also come through here. fighting me so much. There's your second line. Now those are going to be run nice and snug with each other uh, through my holes I drilled. Now we'll run them up the other side. Banjo set up now that's ran up so it'll be um, tightened on to the master there and then the 90 boy is over here which I did not anticipate it being that long. This is what happens when you just kind of eh, 70 inches is good. So I'll just have to wind it up or do something to pull up the slack. No big deal. I don't really care. Um, this isn't like a, this isn't exactly a race car. It's a beater. So whatever. Probably paid a couple extra bucks for this. I didn't have to spend, but it is what it is. Lines are done. Everything's bled. There was a little bit of a trick to bleeding the lines. And that was that you have to have a wife uh, or a homie with you because what we had to do was for a second it was weird because like it wouldn't bleed past the handbrake so then we kind of messed with the handbrake pulled it up did a little bit of pumping of the brakes and then let the handbrake down and then pumped it again and then pumped the handbrake and so you're kind of like you're bleeding like up to the handbrake and then you have to bleed through the handbrake and past it so we were doing most of it with the foot brake for a while and then once the foot brake um was cleared uh, I would have Hannah hold the foot brake and then we would pump the handbrake behind it, hold the foot brake and the handbrake, then open the rears. And then after that kind of got, we got through that stage of bleeding. Then after that stage of bleeding, then it went to just a, you would pump the foot brake until it was hard. And then you would pump the handbrake until it was hard and then just hold the handbrake up and then bleed past the handbrake. Super like weird. You're going to have to mess with it, but that's what we did. Hannah's not feeling good right now, so she can't go with me to test it. <laughs> It's not as aggressive as I wanted it to be, but I also think that maybe, maybe we can put more aggressive brake pads in the rear and that'll help. Let's see what this thing does. try to get this car a little more dialed in the handbrake works now so now it actually like wants to go in second gear the misfires cleaned up all these things so the four seater beater is back and I couldn't be more stoked uh, really excited to see where that car goes and what we end up doing with it now that it's running so catch us at like a local event or something maybe uh, an Adams or I don't know something we'll be somewhere 
It's back, boys. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel in another way, you can head to holdfast-usa.com, buy anything on the website, and it helps us keep this content coming to you. Huge thanks to the sponsors as well who support all these different series that we want to bring you guys. Give them a follow, give them a like, tell them Micah sent you. As always, boys, stay safe.